right. So let's, we'll tell you what it is. So let's, let's do it. It's thing, fucking right? hot as shit in here. Oh. <laughs> Disgust. <laughs> Plum sake. Yeah. <clears throat> I thought Sockies you were a illegal? big smooth, big smooth sober can. Yeah, responsible drinking. Okay, it's a five ounce pour of wine. It's wine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a fourteen percent sake because it's yeah. made Standard with wine. plum. Yeah. <sighs> and I'm free facing <laughs> my own farts. Uh, mm? Me too. <laughs> as it turns out. Nice. Responsible shitting. Shit responsibility. Shit's ability. What's that? Responsibility, not quite yet. He's ready for five seconds. Oh yeah, are we back? Yeah. Oh shit. I I I do I I do ready for five seconds. (gasps) Okay. I'm gonna hit the button in five, four, three, two, gingivitis. <laughs> Phillies never say die. Gingivitis? Yep. That's, That's what gingivitis. got you. That's the yeah. first word that came to me. You, you started gingivitis. sucking down hold breath a minute, a second before Dennis started counting down. It was more down. than a second. <clears throat> Why do I keep my heaters on, Dean? I don't. I turn my air conditioner off so that you don't hear it on our wonderful little podcast here. Steve, live in Gun Club I live Cancer in the Alley. Swamp, Dean. <laughs> It always it's, hot. It was swamp. 85 today. Well, oh, Steve, have you, March. Steve, have you tried Drain Swamp? <laughs> yeah. I've been hearing a lot of good things about Drain the Swamp. The, no. Signs are The Drain waters are the only thing keeping it cool. <laughs> <laughs> have you tried Drain Swamp? <laughs> find a lot of bodies if we drain I mean, the swamp. I mean, I know you like come from and live in the swamp, but have you tried Drain Swamp? I you have not come from a land this. with swampies. <laughs> I come from a land of swamp ass, <laughs> where women groan, and and I make podcasts, and men catch bass. <laughs> I bass. come from the land of swamp ass, <laughs> where yingling grows. Previously <laughs> on Moscow. <laughs> Moscow. We got, oh man, it's dark in here and it's filling up with blood. Oh my God, this is, oh, it's very wet. It's very wet. Indeed. Oh, it's, uh, wait, I'm a turtle. I'm fine. It's dark and blood is hot. Smiling time is uh, mortal again. Welcome back, listeners, to the 32nd episode of our seventh season. Thanks so much for tuning in again. We are going to start right where we left off last time, as the cave that they are trapped in is filling up very quickly with blood, and at this point is up to their shins. I'm a blood dragon, so I'm okay with it. The shins are okay. The shins were okay. They suck now. As the uh, the altar of skulls is just vomiting and pouring blood out of the eye sockets at an alarming rate. Put your mouth over it! Scrothor. <laughs> uh, Scrothor doesn't know what, but tries. <laughs> All of a sudden, a lot of warm blood shoots into the back of your throat. He loves blood. Uh, roll me a con check. It doesn't magically teleport me to a, a death zone? <clears throat> no. I got an eight. Uh, you, you put your open mouth over it, and it's it immediately chokes you as it's just it's squirting too fast in there. You weren't ready for it. And I can swallow two pints of blood Is before I vomit. Is he still standing on it? No, he didn't step on top of the pedestal. He te- he stepped on top of a little stone on the ground. I know. Did he? Is he still standing on it? Uh, I'm gonna say no. I mean, Scrothor, did you yeah. I mean, I just flap I my wings because I feel it move underneath me. Sure. In a kind of surprise. Okay. Man, it smells like shit in here. It's the blood, obviously, mm-hmm. and not you two farting directly. Into you each too. Other's Excuse me. <laughs> I'm not farting. I can't I'm not wait to come either. up to Gettysburg and record <laughs> live. In what you have to remember is uh, Bono was the there. biggest piece of shit in the world. Don't try to deflect. <laughs> hey, are we gonna <laughs> clean the studio when Steve gets here? Fuck no. He needs the full Why experience. Why would you do that? <laughs> are you gonna clean your Phillies hat? No, I'm just gonna throw it out and get a new one. No. That is like your what fourth one. <clears throat> Third. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's my second. You don't give them all to Danny. Look at it, man. It's it's that's growing. A market hat. It's growing mold on it. It's growing a new Danny. That's why I asked. You see that? Anyway, I, I can sweat. No, nah, I can make mushrooms off that if I wanted to. So yeah. 
It's his room's filling up. At this point, it's past your knees. Swinging past your knees. But yeah, I'll say you moved off of the stone on the ground, and the blood does not seem to stop. A coming. I would like to um, look as best I can for any other um, exit from this uh, cave that maybe we would be able to float or swim up to. Of course, not Scrothor because he doesn't have any hands, but you know I what? Fly. Everybody's yes, got to yes. go sometime. Um, we'll roll me an investigation check. Uh, yes, I'll do that. Uh, 23. Uh, so you, I mean, the blood's not, it's only to your knees, so you can't really, like, go up to the ceiling or anything. But from where you are, you don't spot anything on the ceiling. You you do think if you could move all these rocks very quickly, that would make an exit, probably. Um, Scrothor would like to <laughs> cast the <laughs> cantrip that is shape water okay, and freeze the stuff coming out of the fountain so it just stops. You freeze water, provided there are no creatures in it. Oh, we're in it. <laughs> but like the the spouting fountain, the spouting part. Yeah, for okay. one hour. So you freeze it to give us time to like. Okay, think about it. Uh, so you cast freezing water. The mm -hmm. blood is mostly water, so it uh, it freezes, it crystallizes around each of the skulls, mm -hmm. and it's just dripping at this point since it's not. Totally frozen, but it's mostly frozen. It's just dripping. It smells like iron in it's here now. It's much slower of a of a blood time, but yeah, it's uh, you seem to have stopped the overflow of blood. I oh. flap my wings in victory. Nah. It's mostly splashing in victory. I'm gonna try to move the pedestal, or look around the pedestal for some sort of switch. Um. So you try moving the pedestal from one side to the other, and it doesn't seem to budge. But when you like lift it just a little bit, it feels like it. You could just pick it up. I pick it up. Okay. Is there a drain? Um, it feels like it can only go straight up, and like it, it's it's it feels like it's on a piece of some sort. So like you're, it's sliding straight up. So are you sliding it all the way up? All the way off. Okay. When you do that, the pedestal flies out of your hands as <sighs> just a torrent of blood is just mm. shooting up into the air. Ugh. And, like, the amount of blood that's shooting out is, like, three or four times more than last time. Can I cast hold on, shape hold water on, again? Hold on, hold on, hold on, Okay. I cast water breathing on everybody so that we can breathe underwater if we need to. Okay. Before you do that. How many more spells you got? Man, you... We I'm, haven't used any. Shape water is a cantrip. I can just do it. No, I just not, keep doing them. Use Grothor. Okay. You can gizzard. Um, when have I ever used water breathing? Well, you ha you only have so many spells you can use in a day. What have I uh, used? Don't, so what don't have I worry. used so far? Hey, uh, hey, hey, don't don't waste that on me. I can hold my breath for. No, 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 hold on. Dennis. Literally, what have I used so far? I don't. Remember. As your lawyer, I, I haven't used anything question. from last session and this session. Yes, I have a light, which is a cantrip. Okay. For some reason, I thought you had other spells you had used. And comprehend uh, language, language at, a, at the first level. Well, we're, so when you, when we went to the combat with the, uh, that's fine. That I was yes. He, that was more than a day ago. Yeah, we did. We did take a rest because we came unconscious, that. right? You were unconscious for a very short amount of time. Um, but okay, that's fine. I was just curious. Um, so yeah, you cast underwater breathing on everybody. Boop. That Boop. lasts for twenty four hours. Okay. Spouting blood continues. Uh, Scrothor casts Shape Water again, which is a cantrip, which doesn't have slots, okay. and freezes a five foot cube. How of big that coming out of the <sighs> okay. base? So it freezes the base. Okay. So it's just like a spike of, like not even a spike, but I, like a flowery shape of blood. <laughs> I was gonna see how big the hole was and if we could fit down there. I think that we have to get out. And I, so the the hole that. Oh, the the water hole, the pipe that of the flowing water that's out <laughs> of it. That you froze, yeah. I can unfreeze it at will and refreeze it as needed. How big is that hole down there? Uh, so the the hole currently is about two foot by two foot. That was the base of the pedestal. I can also change its color and opacity. If you want it to be blue blood, horseshoe crab immediately. Right. We're millionaires. <laughs> we could sell this on the open market. Um. Also, I guess the pressure would get so high within 24 hours that all the rocks that were crumbling in front of the cave wall would just get pushed away by all the blood, right? Well, I mean, it would, yeah. 
Could happen. Yeah. So what, what do you say, Eternal Men? I can cast this for two instances. I can't. I, so I can like make a a chain back and forth through the pipe if there is such a pipe. Well, everybody knows that rocks are not as heavy underwater. So, so once the blood is filled, we'll be able to move the rocks. And if we know that uh, it's a bad idea because it's too far to swim, we'll die. But we have breathe underwater, so it's good. I, I can hold my breath for an hour. And we can hold our breaths for 24 hours because of Captain Gizzard. So I can hold my breath for 25 hours. <clears throat> So you, you can be alive for the last hour while we die. Yes. <laughs> okay. Do you want to let it fill? Is that what you're saying? I'm just looking for any other ideas as well. So I, I think I think that your idea of going up the pipe? Down the pipe. Down the pipe to go up the pipe is a good one. And I can facilitate that with my cantrip. So I can stop the flow. We swim. I can release the flow. We swim. Stop the flow. Back and forth to create, I, so I can create two zones: one behind us and one up in front of us, and just like kite it forward. Because I can create two instances with uh, shape water. Is there like uh, <clears throat> any other switches on the ceilings or anything like that? Just totally, pretty much bald yeah. cave walls. I think I think we got to go up the pipe. I think you're right. Or be able to shape stone, which we can't. Because it's not the same level of spell that I have. I guess a two by two hole would be big enough, wouldn't it, Dennis? Should be. Weissenhead is his name. <laughs> blue Falcon. Call. Ah! No, I don't get that. He's a blue Falcon. It's true. Pooh Falcon. No, he's a blue Falcon. That's the nickname I gave him. So yeah, what are you guys doing? Uh, I think I think that we are going to put a stop in the drain. Through the pipe, with this with the freezing, mm -hmm. swim in, put one behind us. The blood is shooting out. Right. So if you stop it, and then unstop it, it's gonna shoot again. But with a stopper behind us, like do you? I'm not explaining myself well. No. So I have the ability to make two of these instances of freezing pipe. Mm -hmm. So one in front of us, we get up to it, and then I move one. Uh, 10 feet in front of it down the pipe and then I release the one and we move up to the next one and then I put one 10 feet behind it and I move, move up to the next one and be continuing. Well, so voice and head, I mean, if the room is completely full of blood... It's not. Okay, we wait until it's completely full of blood. It's like to your... It was to, like, your mid-thigh when do you we stopped it. Do we see any... <clears throat> okay. Turtleman. Yes. What kind of ideas can you bring here to the tables? I think we should smash those skulls into little bits so that we can get to the blood faucet that's underneath and swim through the blood faucet. <laughs> Clearly, this blood is coming from somewhere. Some See, sort of underground blood pump plumbing that blood leads reservoir. to the that leads to the blood reservoir, which we could safely escape. So you're saying let the room fill all the way. No, I'm saying smash the skulls right, right. now. Uh, I use my quarter staff and start smashing the skulls on the walls. There's no skulls on the walls. There, on it's the, the floor. altar. On the the altar. The, right, right here. Right here, right here Captain. We already picked, picked up, the, up altar, the altar, which and took it off, yeah. which is what caused the giant fountain of blood. Oh, okay. Well, then I just swim down the giant fountain of blood. Okay. Uh, roll me F. Well, first so off, he's able to do that me. against the current because I'm freezing it every. And I have pythons. Okay. Which I am using to into the wall. Okay. Upside down as a turtle. <laughs> so you're unfreezing, freezing, unfreezing, un yeah. unfreezing. And, and I'm very forward. hydrodynamic. Okay. Because I'm a turtle. He is very hydrodynamic. I'm just trying to visualize how you constantly freezing and unfreezing. I can make two instances of I, five I, foot I freezing. I get that. You're not yeah. getting it. <laughs> I don't. So like. There. He's he's freezing blocks in front of me, which makes the flow go over me instead of into me. He moves That's forward, and I, I freeze another five. Foot. <laughs> Have you ever like encountered wind? Yeah. And then you like stand behind something, and the wind is no longer blowing on you. Yeah. That's how it works. That's what he's doing. Okay. For me, to me, it sounded like he was just freezing the entirety of a spot. He so probably was up. saying that, but I'm saying the correct <laughs> thing. <laughs> 
Because I don't know I, what the blockage in front and back is. I know is. that there is a correct phrase for this, and I'm doing that, <laughs> what Steve says, because He's helping the spell me. works He's helping that me. Way. But hold yeah. on. If we let the entire room fill with blood... Okay, hear you out. Then we should just be able to swim down the the pipe stream, because... Either that or the pressure is going to build up and push out the wall of rocks. Because if the because blood is continuously pushing saying. up with pressure, that pressure has to be dispersed somewhere, right? And there's already an, a passage which got filled with rocks. And so if the pressure gets high enough, He's right. it's going to push the rocks forward. Or mm -hmm. there will be no more pressure because there's no more pressure to go. And then we can swim out. So then we out. can just swim down. And we have 24 hours. And it's, it's of, filled up within like 20 minutes. To our knees, we got plenty of time. And we have twenty-four hours of water breathing, plenty so we just time. let it let it play out, and it explodes out the entrance that if, is already. And there. if it doesn't, we can just then swim down freely the... down. Okay, voice and head. Yes, we do that. Um, is the blood red? Yeah, it's I changed to blue. Oxygen. We'll be fine. It's okay. full oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're undoing the shape water, so it's not mm -hmm. frozen anymore. Okay, so it starts to spout again. Yep. Within a few minutes. It gets to your waist, and then another couple minutes, it's up to your chest. The moment it hits about chest height, which is also about the height of where the altar was in the first place, it stops spouting blood, and all of a sudden, the floor, you can hear it cracking and opening up, and a giant skeletal mouth shoots up <laughs> out of the ground and just chomp and, like, swallows you guys, mm -hmm. and you are... All of a sudden, just falling down this <laughs> swirl of blood and darkness. Flushing hey, sound effect. Captain. Yes. Hey. Yes. Gr yes, growth. Oh. This is metal as hell. I believe it's just the way it should be. And you're hearing just nonstop screaming. I cast light on uh, Clancy's shell. It doesn't do anything. Oh, shit. Almost ah. as though light doesn't really exist here anymore where you are currently going. <laughs> so you- Little can, boy, you're going to hell. Exactly right. <laughs> so you guys are just being flung around this. It's not even a tube. It's almost like a, a, a tunnel or a passageway that's just carved into the earth, but all kinds of helter-skelter, weird twirly-whirly goos. But, like, the sides of the walls aren't smooth. They're literal, like, skeletal hands that are just, if you get anywhere near it, they just grab and throw you down farther. So you just keep picking up more and more speed. She chose down? Down! <laughs> Send her down! And you guys just keep on going at a faster and faster and faster speed until all of a sudden, sploosh, you hit this just inky <laughs> black... Like liquid, you're not sure what. And you're underwater, or whatever it is, and you just can't see anything. Some Helios. sort of ink moth nexus. And Denmark. It's thick. And Syphilis. But not like Ramagram. tar. Is it hell? <laughs> Helios. Denmark. Uh, you don't remember hell being like this. Syphilis. Hell was a lot hotter. Though it is about 98.5 degrees here. Are we inside of Tom's anus? You guys are cysts now. Do you want a Do you want a history check or a, any kind of check? Well, you don't have to worry about drowning, I guess. So. For twenty four hours out. until he runs out of checks, but he can sleep within twenty four hours <laughs> in the water. No, in in the I sensory mean, deprivation chamber, which is super relaxing. You lived through the nineties. You know what water beds are. Just fill it with blood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. We perpetually can breathe here, but also we might eventually starve. No, I. Uh, oh, I cast blood is berry. blood is berry. lousy <laughs> with nutrients. Good berry, good, good berry. You can eat a whole pint of blood before you throw up. These are member good berries. Okay, so so we can perpetually rest. You can perpetually cast breathe underwater. I can perpetually cast create food and water and or good berry. I don't think you can perpetually. And rest. I can go inside as long my as I rest. Be safe. Yeah. How long does it take to rest to get your spells back? Well, Eight less hours. than twenty four hours. Yeah. So we can rest three times in this. Uh, breathe underwater. Period. DM. What do I see? Yeah, but doesn't uh, like isn't the breathing underwater like interrupted? He says it's, it sleeping? lasts twenty four hours. No, I, I get that, but most times spells have like concentration or no. Something. It's a ritual. Okay. Um. 
But I'll, I'll just make sure. But I think it's a rich. It's fine. Whatever. Um, we're just, <laughs> okay, just not that sport. Apparently, we're just splitting hairs. This <laughs> but anyways, because you're not gonna be here for that long. We're gonna have to do the stupid fucking. All right, let's spoilers. Go on shifts or whatever, bro. Um, it's a ritual. Okay. Does that I don't know like what does ritual mean? Ritual usually it means you can intense. cast it without a spell slot if you take ten minutes to do it. Hell yeah. Okay. Elios. So. Uh, you don't see anything currently because you're in the middle of this blacky nothingness. What do I feel? I'm going to cast uh, light again. I, never, I could never see anything anyway. Sadness. What do I sense? Longing. Yeah. Yeah. What? Empty sadness longing. Yeah. And my long light. sadness. Uh, again, just... Okay. Doesn't even... Is there, doesn't like, even spit is there like a reverb, like an echo when we try talking? Uh, Hello? No. It sounds like you're talking underwater. Are like we inside Scrothor? Thick water. Because you guys are just currently just sloshing around in is, this. Is Scrothor okay. inside of Scrothor? No. I say with a question mark. Like well, maybe I'm close. I don't know what you're asking me. I mean, like, <laughs> so there was the there was the this statue space. that kind of like felt like Scrothor, and now we're inside. That statue had nothing to do with Scrothor. You said just, it was a bird. Just because no. Gizzard told you that. Wrapped. <laughs> In plastic, yeah. yes, that's right. <laughs> and you had a uh, but damn Gizzard good piece of pie on your way down here. Mm. Voice in the head, does it feel like making the, love? The sloshing, <laughs> nothing does. does. Does it feel like maybe we're whatever we're in is in motion? No, it mm. feels completely still. Uh, you guys don't seem to be rising or sinking. You're just sort of splashing in place in this water. I look for the sphincter. It's it's complete blackness. Can we walk I look around for the sh- I feel for the sphincter. What? He feel for I the sphincter. F- I want to feel no, for the sphincter. No, not him. Sphincter. I don't care what he was saying. What did you say? Why? Is are, it we, Steve? are we allowed to walk around or anything you're, of this you're, sort? You're swimming. You're I know, but is water. it just, is it infinite in all directions? Well, you're not moving. Like, you guys are just in place swimming. I, I swim around. Okay, roll me athletics. To fourteens. Okay, uh, it's difficult, but you do manage to break the surface of whatever this liquid is, and it feels as soon as your hands come out, like there's a ledge there that you could grab onto. I grab and pull myself up. Okay, you do, and you are suddenly on a solid but very smooth some type of ground, but it's also still pitch black. Hmm. Do we have all our equipment on us? Yeah. Okay. Um, I open up a pack and get a torch out. Okay. And I light it with my flint and steel. So you light the torch, and you definitely know that it's lit. You definitely know that it's burning. But the light's not really going more than like a foot away from the torch. Seems like whatever is around it is eating the light almost. Like, just consuming it. It's Sheila, that fat bitch. <laughs> Goddamn bitch. <laughs> Clancy and Scrothor, if you want, you can also try and swim up and out. I, 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 will, I will take <laughs> Scrothor by the gizzard and help him swim <gasps> up. Okay. <gasps> well, in athletics. All right. Clancy, whenever I'm alone with you, oh boy. you make me feel like I'm home again. Natural 20. Okay. Get me out of here. <laughs> you shoot up out of the, 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 the thought of Scrothor gurgling at you some sort of sweet nothings. causes you to shoot up out the top, and uh, as you leave the water and land back down, you are no longer in the liquid, but you are on top of the smooth surface. You Ooh, it's all feel pitch like... black. Now, you can see each other, but there's no other real light mm. in any direction. It's I can see him again? Somewhere. You can see each other. You've nice. always been able okay. to see each okay. other. No. Yes, shut up. Shut oh, well, not, up. not scroll Yeah, forward. no, you said I could. <laughs> no, no, no. You can't I see I would like shit. to <laughs> inspect the smooth surface we're on. What is this? What are we standing on? Um, I believe to look it's at it. It, Moby's if, head. If you get your eyes really close to it, it's still very hard to see because it's so dark. I do that. Not you, Scrothor. <laughs> your eyes are long gone. Um... It almost looks like glass, 
It feels so smooth like I'm walking on glass. But like you don't see any edges, so you're not sure what you climbed. So it's onto. it's not like looking at obsidian. It's 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 kind of like looking at obsidian, but it's almost like the liquid that you fell into is not doesn't really adhere to normal physics. Is there any kind of wall or anything around? You don't see anything. Well, any I know, direction. but like I know that I'm on a platform. It do, I'm going to walk around it to see okay. if it's an island or if there's some sort of wall. You walk around. Um, it seems like this blackness just goes on forever. And you... It also sounds like whenever you speak, the there's not a lot of echo. It's like being in a sound studio where like the sound just kind of dies after mm -hmm. a few feet. But like you keep walking in all these different directions, and you're just not... Nothing like you can't tell if you've been walking in a straight line. You can't tell if you've come back to where you were before. Like, just there's nothing discernible about where you are to try and figure out where are we, where do we go, Captain. All you can hear are very distant, like moaning and screaming mm. from all directions. Mm. Captain, try talking to the devil again. I'm gonna dip my finger into the the blood. It's hard. Hail Satan to the grace. What do you mean? It's a hard surface. I go to the edge where I pulled myself off. Hard surface. You can't find the the edge. All right. I'm going to. <clears throat> I'm going to take a little bit of the bone powder I have in my purse. Okay. And write, uh, make a little pentagram down there. Okay. I'm going to try to call the devil again. Okay. Helios. Roll religion. Denmark. <laughs> no score for me, for I have sinned. Syphilis. I've sold my soul. Mammogram. For sex and gin. Uh, it's a 25. So you complete the pentagram and you say your little Helios. And the Denmark. bone dust starts to light up. Syphilis. This orangish, yellowish, Mammogram. color. And you can hear cracking as the ground is starting to crack in that area. And all of a sudden, how close are you standing in the circle? Am I to the pentagrams? Yeah, the pentagram. I can't see a fucking thing. Well, you can see the glow. All right, well, then I back up a, a safe distance away. Okay. Is Scrothor on it? Nobody's <laughs> on it. Scrothor uh, can't see. The, He's got the, little sunglasses on. <laughs> yes, but that doesn't help Stevie see while he plays the piano. The ground explodes <laughs> out in a fiery... Um, Sort of like tower, uh, but it, it's not of. It's hard to explain. It's a vortex. It's fucking ableist. It's, Steve. it's not even a vortex. It looks like this is somehow just nothing but flaming bits of bone that are just flying up out of this hole. That moaning, screaming sound that you could hear in the distance mm -hmm. is now deafening with how loud this is, as <clears throat> if you have somehow broken some sort of universal. Like understanding of this, how this world works. I unscrambled the scramble channels, <laughs> and you notice that the cracks are moving outward on the glass that, or the ground that you're standing on. And now you can see light because more and more of this bony fire shit just keeps popping up out of it, and the cracks are moving in every direction, including yours. And it looks like this fire is just going up and up and up and up and up and up and up. So. Something's happening, and it's also spreading towards you. You said there's bones, though. Uh, the fire seems to be made of bone. Uh, can I animate the dead with those bones? You could animate one dead in the bones. There's as, a lot as he of animates dead. the dead bones, do we take a break? We're not there yet. I don't even think we're close. We're like five minutes away. Uh... Yeah, and I'll cast uh, my thrall. I think I can do that as many times as I want. Thrall is a shaman. You can't animate him. He it's did. not a cantrip. Mm -hmm. There's no way that's a cantrip. We're, we're just stepping over the War Warcraft joke. It's I didn't hear you. I mean, oh, it's just, just it's the it's a school. The what, school of what level are you on though? It's a chapter. Six. What do you mean? Level six spell? You can't cast those. No. Yeah, it's. It's no no no. Animate dead is a third level spell. Okay, which Got is it. what we are at. And 
Uh, it, it is one of your school spells, which means you get it for free in addition to your normal spells. 10 4. And... But you still got to pay a slot. But you still have to pay I gotta a slot. I got to give a slot for yeah. it. How many slots? I, I'm not, I'm not going to do it then. I'm not going to waste a slot on that. I was just going to say, would you? how many third level spell slots do you have? 16. At level 6, you have. 16? <laughs> yeah, I got a 16. Mm hmm. I mean, you used it once. Hey, you don't. You don't. I used it yesterday. We took a nap since then. Well, it was two days ago. Um, <laughs> also, we took a blood nap. You don't. You don't play spellcasters, so you have no I idea. I know. I'm very rough. <laughs> I you know there's a number. You don't of even slots. use NPCs as spellcasters. Are you yeah. a wizard or a, I don't know how to act like uh, a use sorcerer? I'm a, I'm a wizard. Anytime I try and put them in, you just roll over them. So I don't know how to use them effectively. So I just. I don't. mean, there's like literally like there's resources for you to research. Like five E. Yeah. Or just like YouTube. <laughs> So we're level six. Uh, so you said there's light somewhere? Where's the light? You have three third levels. The light's okay. coming out of the fiery cracks in the ground that you've created. That is spreading towards you in all and in all directions. I'm not scared of it. I've danced with the devil in the pale moonlight. Sure. Uh, oh, man. You are not scared of it. Roll a con save. Everyone or just me? Everybody. 18. Uh, your right. fortitude is holding pretty strong. I Scrothor got a 19. Scrothor is blind and stupid, therefore he can't tell the danger that's near him if there is any. It doesn't hurt. I don't know. It Bird Cop hasn't of provided an email. <laughs> Clancy. 10. You're terrified. 10 Beyond uh, rational thought at the moment. I retreat into my shell. Because you are reminded that you did not have a very good time in hell, and this feels an awful lot like hell. Uh, with I retreat this. into my shell. Okay. Clancy shell, you're going to hell. <laughs> Clancy is just a shell now. <laughs> just Koopa kick him around. Do I feel like I can outrun this? It's not moving very quickly. So you could probably outrun it. Can I perceive down there and see what I see below? Perceive through the cracks or yeah. through the... Tower of shooting bony Sh fire. Cracks. Both. Uh, I want to see what's down there. Okay. Um, pick one. Which would you like to try first? Well, what's bigger? The, cr the You know what? Let's go after that fat uh, crack. The crack is definitely not bigger. Critical than 20. The giant pillar of. Uh, okay, so you Ghost get. Ghost House theme, go. You get close enough where you can peer. Uh, I know what you mean. At an angle you downwards. Do. And you are not standing on any of the cracks currently, and you are like just pirouetting perfectly, so none of, none of it's touching. Your mother's anymore. safe. Good job. But you glance down, and you could see through. I've got my spy glass out from my ceiling. Sure. Um, you'd still have. We're to not saying that word anymore, Dennis. To look down. What? Sure. Sure. We talked um, about it. Sure. We talked about it. Yeah. Sure. Um, we talked about it. Yeah, sure. We talked about it. I know we did. Sure. Yeah. We talked about it. Yeah, I sure. want to go on Every time you say it, I'm saying it. We talked about it. Sure. We talked about it. Sure. We no, talked about it. Sure. This we is just edit sure. points. I will never stop. I will literally never stop. <sighs> yes, I won't stop. We talked so about anyways, it. So anyways. Sure. Um, we talked about it. You. Um, we talked about it. <laughs> sure. Uh... <laughs> but we talked about it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, we talked about it. I, it was sure. we, we did talk about it. This sure. is compelling content, assholes, and I want to go upstairs to we get fucked. This Bill is a cut first because he's got to go back to his wife. No, we talked point. about it. Sure. We did, though. But anyways, you notice that glancing through here, uh, you know what? Roll me a history check or intelligence. For a crit 20? No, yeah, yeah. No, you, you see clearly. I'm just trying Great. to jog your memory. A history, I got nothing. I got a seven. Okay. This vaguely reminds you of hell. Like, what you see down there? It seems hellish. You feel like it's very familiar to you, as if you've somehow cracked the boundary between uh, wherever this plane is and hell as it expands outward. That's what you're getting. What's your Constantine you quotation? Scurry like? away. I scurry. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I've never seen Constantine. I, and I've never read mm, it. Mm. Of course, he's never seen him. What are you talking about? It's it's critical of Catholicism. I, I, I get it. It's a hard. It looked like a terrible movie, it's so really I skipped good. it. It's really good. Well, if, maybe if you ever showed up for botch films, we could watch it. It's there. not on a Prime. That's because you never show up. It's, it's waiting for you. I only have one a week. 
Uh, yeah, I guess I'll move away. I don't feel like it's the right move. Uh, you feel very unsafe. I get that, but there's nothing else around us. Yeah, at this moment, there is nothing else around. I guess I'll wait till it consumes the whole room and see if it lights up the exit door. Sure. So, <laughs> we talked about it. Just pick a new word, Dennis. Like, okay, or oakley dokley. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about it. We did though. It's it's a thing. Um Is this you, what it feels like when Dennis and I are fighting and does. everyone just sits here? No, it here? really does and it happens yeah. like every week. It doesn't happen every week. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you uh It's fun to listen to. So you guys. No, we talked about it. It's fun to listen to. We did talk about it. Yeah, sure. So we you guys move further away from the fire. And you notice that the ground continues to crack and open, and the hole of which the fiery skeleton stuff is spewing out of also seems to expand and crack and open. And after a little bit, it seems as though there's a light at the far end of wherever this plane of existence exists, and you notice a horde of these winged... They're skeletal, that's for certain. Um, but they don't look like human skeletons. Uh, they look deformed in some way. But they're all, it's like a horde of them flying towards this hole. And it appears as though they're trying to patch it up in some way. Like, they're using some sort of magic. You're not, you have no idea what it is because you've never seen this before. But are they like ant people that are trying to like communally plug this hole that the rain's coming in? or like? No, it looks like they're magically s like fixing the cracks, like Flex Seal. And they came through... They came through an <laughs> opening. An, uh, I it looks saw like this a boat in half. Opening, uh, that's still open currently. I'm going to uh, run around and grab Scrothor by the ah! scruff. Ah! And... Knock on Clancy's shell. There's an opening, and I believe it's time to go. Clancy's not home right now. If you would like to leave a message, uh, yes, you can either <laughs> stay here and die in hell, or come with me and die on the surface. Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> come uh, with me if you head. want to jizz. Can I? Can I roll to see if maybe I'm inspired and not super terrified anymore? Uh, sure. Roll con again. Like it should be wisdom, but sure, nineteen. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, you you feel a second wind of confidence, uh, and no longer terrified. You're not. As he feels a second anymore. wind of confidence, I'm yeah, coming out of my hold shell. Your goddamn horses. Ten minutes overdue. <laughs> what? Sure. <laughs> we talked. We guys it. doing? We talked about it. Uh, I'm gonna start sprinting towards that opening. <laughs> okay. So you enter into the light. When you I'll say it like that, captain. um, I mean, uh, I do. I'm, sure. I'm gonna go first. You sure you do? Sure. You were enveloped. No, sure. <laughs> no, sure. Yeah. Sure. 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 Why is this happening? <laughs> because Chonky came to the studio drunk. drunk. <laughs> oh. So, yeah. No, oh. sure, sure, I did. Sure. <laughs> you said you did. <laughs> sure. No, sure, I did. Sure. So yeah. Sure. You no, sure. Light. You feel as though when you are about to enter it as if something pulls you through it. But yeah, you disappear into the light. The other mm -hmm. two are not in there just yet. Sure. I follow. Okay. Blue. Scrother's the only one that's not. Sure. Because it's blind. <laughs> uh, sure, I do. <laughs> Feels good? Why are you attacking everyone? Nobody is going after you, dude. I go through. Okay. All right. Bloop. As you all go through, that is where we take a break. And we're back. Okay. So, you guys are... Well, Scrother is always blinded. But the rest of you are also blinded by this, whatever this light is. That, and you feel you're not walking. You're being pulled. It's almost like you have a... a a like hook a around your belt, and you're just being pulled through some sort of weightlessness of some sort. And 
all of a sudden you sort of bloop and you're standing in a strange place very strange it's not black glass anymore now everything is it, it seems like this entire plane of existence is made out of the remains of all different types of life forms you see human skeletons you see uh, dragons dragonborn um, kobolds gnomes you know the giant uh, titana turtles like any kind of skeleton you can like of any creature you've even heard of and some creatures you've never even heard of before this plane seems to be built off of the skeletons of those creatures yes is it like in a uh, disc or in a sphere um this it looks like you're on like the surface of a world okay so it goes in every direction that's the immediate look of it to you okay the skies are this mixture between red and like it's almost like um, mixing paint in water in terms of like how this stuff is just swirling around. It's it's a reddish color. You also get a little bit of orange. There's some yellows in there as well. And the sky is just completely fluid. It's really weird. And you see what appears to be not one, not two, but three different. You're guessing suns? You don't get the same kind of feel from them as you do from the sun in the normal world. These, They do seem like some sort of body of energy or light up there floating around, though. They're not moving. They're stationary. Uh, and voice so, and head, I roll an 18 history check to see if I can recall a plane of existence known as the Bone Zone. <laughs> <laughs> Would you, you roll? You've never been to the Bone Zone. 18. <laughs> You have heard in one book tell tale of a place called the Bone Zone. And it's naughty and <laughs> yeah. terrible so for you. Naughty. <laughs> was it a trashy dime store yeah. novel? There was. <laughs> that's a different Bone Zone. But you, uh, you, you know, not to believe everything you've read online. So exactly, the Bone Zone, maybe not real. You remember reading? Uh, there was an excerpt from a monk who decided they wanted to go on a spiritual journey and they said that he died for what he felt like was only a few moments and he recounted going into this world of death where everything was dead everything was built off the backs of the dead um and he it was said there uh in that story that the monk actually died um while in this trance for a few moments but then uh, was resuscitated. And he, and he recounted in his story that when he was stuck in this plane of existence, that's where he, like, he knew he died. But he found an exit, and that's how he was resuscitated. So there is technically a, you think, based off the story, a way back to the world of the living just somewhere in this plane. I will relate to Scrothor, but mostly the captain, because Scrothor is blind. That we need to look for an exit, <laughs> because there oh. might be a there might be a physical way back to the world of the living in here, and out of this bo this zone of bones. Let's go dancing on the backs of the bruised. That's a really, really fucking weird thing to say <laughs> right now, Scrothor, and yes. I'm freaked out. <laughs> He's only gotten weirder the more that he is lost in life. <laughs> I have no beak, I have no eyes, but I have you. I am this <laughs> close to losing my shit, Scrozo. I'm further down the spiral than you. You'll get there soon. Don't worry. <laughs> but yeah, so this is where you find yourselves currently. And you do see that, you know, it's not just a rolling landscape of bones, but there does seem to be like various levels of architecture that seem to be made out of bones as well. You say architecture? Arch architecture. I mean, like there is some architecture because there are some buildings made out of orc bones, so you would say that that is That's architecture. Good. Blood for the blood god. Blood for the blood god. Um, but most of these buildings don't, at least where you are currently, they seem more like ruins than, uh, than actual full-on buildings. And you don't see any living creatures um, from where you're standing anyways. And you said this goes on as far as the eye can yeah, see. Yeah, it's like a planet. Okay. 
goes on and on. And, and there's on. somewhere, somewhere here. Somewhere on, on this planet, apparently. On this planet. <laughs> there's a ship. There's a, there's a door. There's a pretend ship, and you have to pretend with them. Pew, 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 pew. Like in, in Hook. Yeah. Yeah. You throw the food. Pretend food You're fight. Doing it, Peter. I pretend that that dwarf that got out is still alive, and he comes back and shows us how to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Scurries away. So yeah, that is what's above come. us. That swirling sky. Yeah. Of the the red, the orange, the yellow. Is there like a um, a, a, a butthole of the sky? No. Uh, it looks like. I mean. It kind of looks like the sky where you normally are from, except the sky doesn't seem to be one uniform color. It just keeps swirling and moving around. Okay, so it's like suns. starry night, not just like a vortex of hole up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And there's three suns of different sizes and different colors. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Exactly. I mean, above us only sky. Yeah, it's true. Imagine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can only imagine... Dragons. That butthole in the sky. So, yeah. What next? Let's start looking for wallets and find that dwarf. <laughs> for wallets? Yeah, you think that they uh, had a chance to drop their... Uh... Oh, they left their license yeah. and stuff here? Yes. Because yeah, there was an explosion. <laughs> and they just Treated happened leather also. doesn't degrade as fast as skin, so the wallets would certainly still be the... around. The atmosphere, I mean, it's, it's definitely breathable. It's also a little chilly, I would say. it's pro- It feels like it's about bird? 40-ish degrees. Duh. It's I'm a bird. cold in here? It, bur- it is indeed chilly, uh, I would say, in here. Are there any Tauros in the atmosphere? Tauros? The, 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 the bull Pokemon? I mean, no. But you do see, like, cow skulls and skeletons scattered through things. As soon as fucking Bring It On comes on Amazon Prime, I swear to God. We don't do comedy. It's true. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's not a comedy. It's a coming-of-age story. It's heartfelt and touchy. I had it on VHS. I'm aware. It's already been brought. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, uh, I'm going to start. Is there, like, a path? Does there appear to be some no. sort of path through the bones? It's, or is it, it's just like a... There's no, like, water or anything. Okay. Like, you don't see rivers they just see so you see uh, rolling hills of bones, and you see what appear to be dead trees made of bones. You see architecture made of bones. Uh, there's a bridge over a chasm. Uh, the bridge is made of bones. Does anybody have detect magic of any sort? Ooh, 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 <laughs> ooh. I Scroll do. Scroll Can he see I, in I call his on green you. picture on where the magic <laughs> would be? <laughs> Uh, if you if you cast detect magic, I do. Uh, you're getting a magical feel all around you, Scrothor. Oh my God, everything is magical. It's almost like this plane of existence is magical. Scrothor says. I, so I guess he can't just like hone it in on. No. <laughs> Where is that door? <laughs> Find me the magic door, boy. Can I cast guidance upon Captain Gizzard? That increases his skill, right? To get an extra D4 to find a skill check. Yes, you can have plus four to to finding a skill that you want to use. So, okay, I'll, I'll hold on to it like for now. Arcana, to okay, but yeah. So that's you're just this is where you find yourself right this second. Is there like a visible pathway, a yellow brick road no. of sorts? No roads. It's just kind of. Do I remember reading anything in my uh, book of the undead? Uh, uh, untold planes, trains, and automobiles. Uh, level one, class two hundred four. Arcana. I'm gonna add my. Uh, what was that? A plus four? It's a D four, or was is it a plus four? What's guidance? For what? Guidance uh, one is D4. one D four. Okay. So you get an extra. Arcanies. I don't appreciate you comparing me to John Candy. John Candy is a fucking legend. Yeah. <laughs> I don't fat. like it. Got it. I I'm fair. Twenty one. No. Okay. Legends never die, Chunky. <laughs> He was, he was, he was, our, no he was our remembered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. So, <laughs> but he died. But John Candy <laughs> but he died. is very dead. <laughs> so this plane is essentially where necromancers draw their power from. This is, you're pretty sure, uh, though one person referred to it as the bone zone. That's for plebes. Um, this would be essentially purgatory 
uh, where death rules over everything. Uh, Does y'all? I think we have to. I think we have to atone for our sins. You're, but I think you're past that, buddy. So does this <laughs> does this plane exist uh, simultaneously with other planes, or is it like separate? It's a. I mean, it's a separate plane. Okay. Though Gizzard kind of merged a couple planes together there by trying to summon hell in Ooh. the middle of purgatory. Okay. Can I try to cast locate plants or animals on the uh, the hole that he's created? That that hole's you know you, you guys go on to a totally different place. That hole's but, it sounded but like the, you said locate planets or animals. <laughs> yeah, like, is the, is what, the, a, what a wide thing of yeah. Can can we can like detect. do a history check to find like where the hole that we came through is, or like are we just not outside the hole? Oh, that you mean like that white light hole? Yeah. Oh, it's it's there's nothing behind you anymore. It's just gone. When you when you blooped into existence, okay. there's nothing behind you anymore. Can can Scrothor just kind of like uh, bird screech to try to find friends? Sure, you can. Do ah! it. You That's bird screech. Uh, mm-hmm. The sound does not die like it did in the other area. Ah! 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 It does go off as like I said. Feels like a fairly normal, you know, world for the most part. Do I remember anything from my readings about uh, different ways to move between certain planes of existence? Uh, so your readings are, or they would speak about, you know, it's possible for um, people to walk between these worlds. There, there were gateways or doorways that were created by the people that rule these planes of existence that they could like visit with one another or speak with one another. So you would just have to find one of these doors probably located um, in like, if there's only one entity here, then it would be like, since this is purgatory and the rule of, you know, death, it would be like death's home or something like that. If there were other beings here at any given time, which the ruins kind of give you that inclination of, there's probably some other doors somewhere, um, you know, maybe hidden around. You would just have to find the right ruin. <clears throat> maybe one that's a little bit more complete than the ones that are in your immediate vicinity. Would, <clears throat> would the ones that have the uh, passageways out have any certain runes drawn on them that I could uh, remember from my teachings? Roll me another Arcana check. It's a critical 20. Okay. You very much recall a specific lecture on that you had attended on uh, these different... From mythical, Gulia Giles. That's right, from Gulia Giles. <laughs> these... Uh, Gulia Jang. These doorways, <laughs> the way they determined which realm they went to, uh, a lot like Stargate, you had to like... You turn the symbols on the side of the archway of the they door, called and then based it whatever. <laughs> and um, to be, based on the angle of each one of these symbols, however you turn it, that determines what plane you go to. And you do recall what the symbols were for your normal plane of existence. So if you did find a door because you rolled a crit twenty, you would remember the symbols needed in order to go home. First word. Sounds like. Sounds like. Beard. Sounds like wave. Shave. Hell. That. Rhymes with hell. Shell. Shaft. Hell shaft. Hell frame. Frame. Hell frame actor. Character. Second word. (laughs) I don't. Oh, no, no. (laughs) What were you trying to say? I'm just throwing throwing words out there. Okay. Okay. Good talk. Ay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Um. Shit. How many spells did I use? Now I gotta keep track of this. We used water breathing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's one. You have three Raised slots. Dead. You so have I- three three slots. <sighs> but what what are those specifically? Did I use animate? Dead. You did, but that's like a one slot, right? You made the one uh, skeleton raise. You guys also haven't moved from your spot yet. 
Can Scrothor find an exit by smell? You don't even have a nose. I have a, a nose hole. You do have a nose hole. I just don't have a beak. Mm. Uh, you're, you haven't had enough time to heighten the rest of your senses yeah. yet. So I'm gonna With say my that. three, I agree. Yeah. It smells like, I don't know. So I pass all the information I, I know on to everybody else sure. here. Everyone else now knows what the runes would need to look like. You've sketched it down on something, and each of you have it, just in case you know anything should happen to any of you. But Scrothor can't see. But Scrothor can't see, so he his is in Braille. I I sketch out the runes in, in his hand. Sure. Like Helen <laughs> Keller in the Miracle Worker. You tattoo it onto my palm so that even but if they find my dead body. We'll be able to match it up. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, what are you doing now? I guess start looking. Okay. Grabbing Which my... direction would you like to head in? Just pick a compass direction. West. Okay. So you start to head west. And for you, the group anyways, it you have a very strange sensation while you room through this. At times it feels like you've been walking for maybe a couple minutes. Other moments you feel like you've been walking for years. Um, millennia, in fact. Centuries. All kinds of, like, time feels real weird here. Um... Like, like I said, this era, this place does not seem to really go by the laws of normal physics and reality that you're used to. Timey wimey. But you keep on walking, and eventually, you happen upon a large castle built of skulls, specifically dragon skulls. Ooh. And there seems to be a statue built of skulls jutting up out the middle of this thing. And it, it kind of looks like one of the, um, well, Gizzard would probably know this. The Well, Scrothor can't see. Uh, it looks like a demon lord almost. Like one of the great demon lords. So whoever built this place really into the demon lords because he built a giant statue made of skulls. But yeah. And the castle gates are wide open. There doesn't seem to be any like, anything stopping you from going anywhere. Is it Morpheus? Is this the... It does look, uh, Orpheus. Isn't that what it is? In, um... Is or this no, the... Orcus. Orcus. It's Orcus. It Orcus, yeah. I, sorry, I was looking Morpheus for... Morpheus is... Uh... Morpheus <laughs> is the dream... <laughs> yeah. The dream doctor. Yeah. Orcus. Yeah, it looks an awful lot like Orcus. Or you can take the blue pill. So yeah. Are you guys heading inside this cabin? I take all the pills. Uh, yeah, is there like, a, is it open? Yeah, there's, like I said, the gates are wide open. There does not seem to be anything barring your entry to anywhere in this entire world. Like, okay. You haven't seen a single living thing. You guys are the only things here. I'm going to go in and look for a stargate. Okay. So you head inside this castle. And everything seems like, you know, pretty standard for what you guys have been experiencing so far. You know, walls made of skulls, furniture made of skulls, so on and so forth. Like, you have little coffee tables made of, like, chipmunk skulls, things like that. It's adorable. <laughs> yeah. And um, so you continue onward, but then you notice that in some spots you see mirrors that are not, I mean, the frame is made out of skulls, but the actual glass is in, is a mirror. And there's, like, a whole hallway full of them. Every, uh, let's say, two or three feet. Does Scrothor see these mirrors? Nope. Scrothor don't see shit. Almost tricked you. No. <laughs> Scrothor holds on to Captain Gizzard's hand. Okay. Uh, I clench it down. tight. His goopy, weird new flesh. But yeah. So you find yourself at the end of a hallway, and this hallway is lined with mirrors. All the way at the other end of the hallway, you see something covered in, not a tarp, but some sort of cloth. It's about nine feet-ish tall and seems like it's rounded around the top. Um, I go pull the tarp off. So you're walking down this hallway? Yeah. Okay. Are you paying any attention to the mirrors or just... I put I in fact I put my blinders on and don't look at the mirrors at all. Okay. You just walk down the hallway then. Yep. 
You go down to the end of the hallway, you pull yes. down the cloth, and there is a large stone archway. Uh, around the archway are skulls, and it almost looks like another <sighs> statue of Orcus, like, just gripped around this thing. And there are these um, spiked, almost, pillars kind of jutting out the top of this thing. And... In through the doorway is just a rock wall, but the symbols are all around the sides of this thing, of this archway. Uh, uh, Captain, get down here, please. Uh, yeah, son, I'll be right there. What do I notice about these mirrors? So as you walk by the mirrors, Shit. you do not see your reflection, but instead you see the reflection of events, like various events in time that are not specific to you necessarily yes Grothor. do we see them in our eyeballs or like in our mind's eye he sees them in his eyeballs by looking into the mirror uh-huh and as Grothor is holding his hand behind him and following him yes does he get mental pictures of what i see um he's getting feelings not exactly like full on visuals but he's getting feelings. Uh, so like the dread and despair of uh, the actions that are happening inside the yeah. mirror. Yeah, and, and these um, these images that you're seeing, the most recent windows uh, look an awful lot like your timeline. Like you see Smile and Tom, you see the various cities, villages, things like that, all Black under Tom's man. thumb. Uh, you guys see... Your corpses strewn up on a hillside on on top of a spike. Like that's like the most recent mirror. As you continue on through these, you start to see further and further back, and you see how things unfolded. And Tom had been uh, like you see numerous, I mean, hundreds of adventures being raised from the dead by Satan mm-hmm. and sent after Smiling Tom, and they all end up dead and right back in hell. Like. You just keep seeing this. Are there any mirrors that predict the future timeline? No. The first mirror you saw was the was uh, most recent past. Mm-hmm. And then they, they seem to go backwards as you continue down the hallway. Are these mirrors movable? Um, I mean, they look heavy, but you, can, you might be able to pull okay. them off the wall. No, 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 no. I, I wasn't sure if they were on the wall or if yeah, they were they're on like statues big, that could be... They're like big mirror frames. Gotcha. Or the if the angle walls. predicted the future, maybe. But um, you continue to look at these different mirrors mm-hmm. and you see that even though the stories of Tom only stretch back a couple hundred years, Tom's been ruling over this area for what appears to be thousands of years and has been using various methods to sort of control the narrative. Uh, magical means to wipe the memories of the entire world. He has full control. Like He's got his fingers in every pie worldwide. He's literally puppeting the kingdoms outside of this desert area. Like, he's been around a long time, dating all the way back to a certain Titana turtle that... Uh, <gasps> we we were there. You were there. With our and, previous party. Yeah. And you see Tom, a much younger Tom, um, creating this, like, ritual. And it, it looks like he's being guarded by other people. And he, he looks like he's a lower-class citizen, and he's not one of the upper class he poor. Uh, rulers or anything like that, but he's he, he's being protected by the lower class as he's doing this ritual. And he completes the ritual, and it like siphons out all the souls of everybody in this Titana turtle. And with that, it looks like he makes some sort of deal with Satan. And through the deal with Satan, that's how he learns to control death. But that gets out of Satan's hands as well. So it looks like Tom's been around for millennia like tens of thousands of years but he didn't immediately go to the west he started the other countries as well so he started the like if uh if you were to really dig into it he started the country of uh, eastwood and he started the continent of deadwood and then basically just pitted them against one another to keep some sort of you're not sure what it's for. It doesn't give you motivations or anything like that, but it seems to, I, for whatever reason, he seems to have started this centuries-long conflict between these two continents, and he just sits down in this, this western region, and nobody knows why. And that's the last mirror that you see as you make your way over towards this 
um, archway. Question. Yes. The Tyranitertle, the people that are guarding him, are they on, like, their third floor walking back and forth? Or is, like, he – do we know, like, where he is in that building? He, it he, looked like he was in a bedroom of sorts okay. with a summoning circle. And the people guarding him were – there was a few people outside the door with, like, long – uh, harpoon guns, and then you see a couple people down the hallway behind barricades and things like that, and there's, like, higher-class people on the other side of the barricades, like, trying to get over and all this stuff. And then you also see a bunch of uh, people stacking casks of gunpowder directly A floor underneath. below? Yeah, one floor below. He was in the bed? No. He was on the floor next to the summoning circle. Okay. By the flowers? No. In the ritual circle. There's no flowers in that in that yeah. image that's uh, in the mirror. There's no flowers. There were <laughs> flowers that were not rotten. There seems to be a woman in the background, an older woman, who has a vague resemblance of Smiling Tom. Hmm. Smiling Mom. Smiling Mom. Okay. <laughs> so, there's a ritual circle in front of the bed in this... Yes. Tweet that I've made. Somewhere between the ritual circle and the bones on the bed is Tom, or Tom is... There's no bones on the bed. There's someone on the bed? No. The bed is empty? Yep. And Tom is... On the floor in front of the summoning circle. Actually, in the summoning circle. In the summoning circle. Okay. That's good info. Yep. And you make your way over to the archway. Gizzard. Yay! And each of these symbols is on, like, a, a little rotating, like, circle. So you can easily click, 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 turn these however you want. You feeling all right, Ancy Clancy? I would like to leave, please. For a turtle, you're sweating a lot. I would really, like, <laughs> Eternal enjoy turtle. departing from this place. You're not comfortable here, and I feel great here. Do you want to stay in the fucking bone zone? <laughs> I slap him. <laughs> I catch his hand. What shit you do. <laughs> I'll dex with a 15 to catch your hand. <laughs> yeah, my attack roll is uh, 22. It would hit me anyway. So you smack Admiral <laughs> Gizzard, and the the smack echoes throughout the castle. Wow, you're not slapping me, Chunky. Hold still. Hold still. No, 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 no. <laughs> High five. The smack no. heard High around five. the bone zone. And it feels like the ground is shaking. Uh, for whatever reason, and it's intensifying. All right, I start working on the door like it's a bop it. <laughs> okay, so you start to turn bop into it. the circles. Uh, turn it. To the angles that you want them Ritual to be. It. Pull it. Flex it. Uh, you also remember once all of them have been turned a certain way, there's an incantation you have to uh, pray, you have to say in order for the doorway to open. I say it. I slam sure, dick. Sure, say it. What is it? Ah, uh, <laughs> you've been saying it all night. No, oh, not the portal to hell. It's not the portal to <laughs> hell. <laughs> Don't you? That's gonna be a different one. Uh, Klaatu, ski, papu, da 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 da. Rata, ski, katu, ratu, ro. Just cause you feel it doesn't, doesn't mean it's, it's there. there. That's it. That's okay. It. Uh, and th this uh, faint light starts to pour out. Each of the runes do, 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 around the gateway sort of light up and uh, move to, like, this light moves towards the center of the doorway, almost like water rushing, like waves hitting each other. And it just becomes this solid door of this silvery light. As the ground continues to shake and the walls start to crack a bit, and uh, it feels like something bad's coming. I grab the... Uh... Scrothor. Okay. <clears throat> and I uh, toss him through the door. There's a little splash. Splishy, splishy, Maybe splash. he'll get his eyes back. Mm -hmm. uh, doubtful, but hopefully he does. Sure. After you, Ancy Clancy. Just uh, yes, I Scrothor. immediately run through the door. Okay. Sploosh. I take one longing look over my shoulder. Uh, you see a darkness uh, with like. Skele like dozens of skeletal clawed hands sticking out of this darkness just 
<laughs> rushing its way down the hallway. I take my hat off and respect it rightfully as I walk through the door. And as you guys walk through the door, that is what we're going to call it. So thanks for tuning in. Check us out next time. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, TikTok, Reddit, and Twitch, and Bunch. But yes, this episode of Bunch was brought to you by the Patreon producers, the OG Lone Ranger, Big Jim, the Knuckle, Old Chronic Skinner, B-Mail, Shine the Panda, Disgruntled Furniture, Lost, Limey, Scappy, Goose, Hukari, and Chris Wistel. You want to support the show? You can do so over at freedomvalleyhorsepace.com, <laughs> dickblood.me, dickblood.club, <laughs> cornhub.icu, <laughs> sexwithwookies.com, pigrickets.com, mookmulk.com, buythesviagra.com, <laughs> louisianapocketgopher.com, damnyoudennis.com, birdswithpenises.com, or simply <laughs> patreon.com slash botchpodcast. There are some changes that are being talked about about our Patreon. Ooh. Okay. So... Keep an eye or an ear out for that. Or just hit us up on one of those social medias and you'll see the changes that are about to be made. You want to support us but can't do it financially? Head on over to Apple uh, Podcasts, Spotify, ew, Google Podcasts. Ugh, gross. <laughs> or wherever you get our shitty show and leave us a five-star review and Chunky will read it on the show. Thank you we to talked about it, though. Gozer for our intro and outro music. More of them over at Gozer underscore music. Thank you to Emily Swan for our album art. You can follow her all over the internet at a swan named Emily. Want to send something to the show? You can do so at P.O. Box 3178, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, 17325. And we'll open it up here on stream. Oh. <clears throat> and as always... When you're stuck... With two people you hate in the cranium domanium. <laughs> and they just want to sit and talk about how much you sweat in your shell, even though they know your mother used to make fun of you for that. And it's a very sensitive subject. And you just want to leave. You just want to go back. Clancy, and you have to slap it down. Scream botched and we'll rescue you from hell. Scroll Thor is only one person. We'll see you next week, nerds. Ooh, stuffy. All right, let me see it. Project A, 732. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh. Three. Did the settings... Swole on... ass Steve. Did the oh, settings on the, uh, on the roadcaster go back to not multi-track? I don't know. I'd have to check. It said the sample rate was off, but I don't know how you... I see project rate. But yeah, like I don't I, know. I played with it yesterday, the other day. I know you played with it. I mean, I saw you slapping it around. Yeah, so I don't know what the deal was with it. I'll have to play with it some more. Play with it all night, I suppose. Well, I'm going to go turn my laundry back on real quick before we get out of here. Oh, we're not leaving yet? Okay. I'm going to go and take my contacts out because they are killing me. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. So it's still a lot. Right, you can aggression, see. aggression, ooh, aggression, aggression, ooh, aggression. Hmm. Hmm. Valid sample rate. One sixty kilobytes per second. And that's an export. I'm not gonna change the sample. I don't know why it's doing that. Do you have a new... Uh, it's all wasabi. Okay. It's supposed to be. Do you want to go ahead and uh, thank the users sure. in chat? Let's thank the people in chat, which is probably just us. No, there's a few. Oh, one Ella, OAX2, mm -hmm. Alessidra, oh. Commander Root, Drap mm -hmm. Snat, uh. Zobey, Gamers and Streamers, Kata, sure. Xylane, and Zukari. <laughs> Sure, Zakari. <laughs> sure, sure. Sure. <laughs> talk I didn't know you we were still alive. <laughs> yeah, we're still alive. Yeah, Steve Glad Nips. I didn't walk back in. Sure, naked. Steve Nips. Sure. <laughs> we talked about you taking your shirt off. TOS. Tits OS. <laughs> Tits OS. That is an operating system that I would use. Hmm. 
What's up? Huh. Oh, nothing. Hmm. I was just playing around with the settings. Trying my, to figure my it out. My dick. My dick. Hmm. I've never Ooh. done that before. Unless it has to something to do with me. Oh, so much storage. Um, but it shouldn't. It shouldn't have anything to do with Pee it. is stored in the balls. I was thinking maybe it, it's doing No, it that's come. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty, pretty sure that pee is stored in the balls, sir. The okay. <laughs> I don't care what you globalists say about <laughs> trying to take away the traditional function of what a man's balls do, but pee is stored in the in, cum. in the balls. You don't know. I don't know. I cut open my my balls and pee came out. Checkmate, atheists. Under my balls. There's also a tiny man in there yeah. that makes pee. That's he right, Zakari. He screams pee out his mouth. <laughs> he has a, 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 a skull us. altar that shoots yeah. pee out of the back. No, semen is going to be pregnant. It's Come on, not Steve. my baby. It's the little man who lives in my balls' baby. Oh, my God. Thank God. I took this picture a month ago because we used it today. He said... <sighs> Hilariously, I also tweeted it today. I know, I retweeted it for you. And now we're using it. For but the then I detweeted it, oh and no. now it's untweeted. You're untweetable. Oh! That's why they're semen, because they sail the seas of pee. <laughs> the pissies! <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's finally, somebody that knows Holy the lore. Holy shit! God. <laughs> Zukari. Why did we ever forget about Zukari? We didn't. Yeah, I no. never forgot we about Zukari. Every, every, I see him every two weeks. Z Zukari fucking got me to, to play TFT, and then I got Masters on it, and I screamed, and now my wife and I have a joke about me screaming about getting Masters on TFT, so thanks, Zukari. Is Masters the highest? No. Masters. Master. Uh, uh, Grandmaster. Grand wizard. Something else. Like I'm I was like so it goes iron, bronze, silver, gold, diamond, master, two things. So you Challenger. ruled Barter Town, but not the wasteland. For sure. Mm-hmm. Phyrexia, all be one, Zukari. I got it. It's a great set. And by great set I mean really hard to draft because it's bomb heavy and it makes me angry. Nobody plays Tragic the Garnering. Just chonky. He throws dollars at it because he didn't have children. Nice fallout joke. No. I think it's a magic joke that Fallout inserted. Yes, but when I made it, I was making a Fallout joke. Heard. Fallout made the magic joke. Heard, Daddy. Okay. Can you <sighs> sure. When's the thing tomorrow? 6 p.m. Twitch.tv slash CZ Drops. Let's go. CZ Drops. It's uh, International Women's Day, and you can watch <laughs> the international women all come together and play D&D. The Quest Master continues. Part one was done last year. Part two was done at DragonCon. Both those videos should be up on YouTube. And then part three will be continued tomorrow night. Twitch.tv slash sleazy drops. CZ. CZ drops. Continuous sleazy drops. Sleazy drops is the after hour. Sleazy show. drops. Uh, you Featuring have, Philip. You have Steph Krognola from Adventure Incorporated. Oh, from Emily Island. Swan. Katasaurus. And Alex from Quit Pro Roll. All coming together and being DM'd by Jenna Chill. That's Chill with one L. Motherfucker. Whoa. And Alex, both of the horse girls, as the quest masters continue questing away their way to Margaritaville. Questing their way questing to Margaritaville. Way again in Margaritaville. I already made that joke. <laughs> Margaritaville? Looking for <laughs> this. Lost Dennis Lost of, salt. of Salt. Yeah. Sure, 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 sure. Sure, 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 sure. Sure, sure, sure Philip. You got really hey, angry at everyone. Where does, does it make you uncomfortable? It didn't. It made the show look bad. Does it? I haven't yelled really? at Dennis in a while. When you yell at Dennis, it makes you uncomfortable? 
No, it's hate. not that it made me uncomfortable, but you got irrationally mad about nothing. <laughs> That's crazy. That